Hi, this is David Kettlewell and Frederica Cohen and welcome to our new book Love of Chromatic Harmonica Techniques and Advice from the World's Best. So that's Love of This Thing which is a chromatic harmonica techniques and advice from the world's best. Now this book weighs, what is it, a little bit north of two pounds? Yes. It's about an inch and a half thick. It's 678 pages long, half of which 340 pages are interviews with the world's top musicians from Asia, from Europe, from the United States, all over the place, talking about how they learned music. And then it also has a lot of information on how to play the instrument. Correct. It has things like how to do hand vibrato or lip vibrato or larynx glottis vibrato all kinds of things including bends how to use this little thingy the magical slide anyhow so it's a book and then at the back end what do we have the addendum we certainly do, and in the addendum you're going to find information about how to select harmonicas, customization to use by pros, and uh, tips on sound equipment. So it's a, it is a resource that we didn't have available when we got started. There was no definitive book that really covered all this material, and the book is here. Definitely. Frederica, you have said that you believe that this is actually three books in one. I definitely do. It's a method book, it's interviews, and it's an addendum. So you're saying that you think all three of those are actually they're almost their own book in this book? Definitely. Well, it's time to find out whether that theory is true. This here's a Makita reciprocating saw. Let's see if that book makes it as three books. Okay, man. Y'all ready? Safety first, huh? Got them safety gloves on too. <laughs> Here we go. First cut. Done. Second part of the book. Not that we alls recommend that y'all does this all the time, but you could. As Frederica says, it's three books in one. It's three books in one. Ooh. Dave, you can take the glasses off now. Safety first when working with power tools. I always thought that. All right, now here we have three books. Okay, now this one, this book's not too big. You couldn't knock somebody out with it. It doesn't weigh two pounds. 162 pages. This is how to play the instrument. So there's one book for you. Okay, now here, here is the second book. This is this book. Now this is big enough to whop you on the head pretty hard. This one is... Uh, 340 pages. These are all the interviews. All the interviews. So you could saw your book into three parts and you could carry around the interviews. Okay. And this, this little sweetheart here, this is the addendum, which is all kinds of secrets like, you know, how to customize your harp the way the pros do and how to use uh, recording equipment. And there's a secret in there is the sound equipment that Toots the Humans uses. We got that in there. Uh, so anyhow, anyhow, this is the third part. So you put these three books together. It was her theory that this was actually three books. Do you believe that you are vindicated? Of course I am. Total vindication. Thank you so much. This is the section where we each get to read a little bit from the book. And one of the people that we got to know through doing this is this marvelous musician named Tolak Olestead, who's an American living in Holland. And I thought that this, you know, these interviews are like 15 pages each. There's 340 pages of interviews. Brendan Power, Robert Bonefilio, King's Harmonica Quintet, a world treasure over in Asia. But anyhow, here's kind of some of the stuff that, that Talak was sharing. The interviewer asks, what are some of the questions people come up 
to you with relating to chromatic harmonica playing? And he says, Talek says, well, it's interesting. It's a lot of different questions. I guess what it always comes down to is that feeling on their part that there is this magical little world that those great musicians live in, and they know some secret about how they make that magical sound at the level they do. All their questions more or less boil down to, how can you give me a tip or a little piece of information that will enable me to get there somehow? And then the interviewer says, the interviewer says like, what's the secret? And then he says, people love that idea of like, there's a secret to it. But for me, it was the fact that no, there's not a secret per se, but there are elements, elements of music. I don't hear expressed or talked about nearly enough. And then Tullock shares his philosophy. But I, uh, I thought I would, if you could, could you be so kind as to read a little bit from your chapter in the Reflections, where we have amateur musicians talking about their struggles with learning the, the instruments. So not only do we have the world's best players, but we also have people who, uh, Ray Navarrete, Graham Tufnell, Frederica Cohn, co-author of the book, who share their journey, which is so fun. So go ahead and read to us. Yeah, this is from my personal journey. I always wanted to play chromatic harmonica. When the chance came, I jumped at it. My challenge in learning chromatic harmonica was ta uh, taking what I already knew about music theory and musicality to my new instrument. This was not as easy as I thought it would be. There were several challenges most faced, instrument choice, breath control, teacher selection, and reading and music. Whose advice do you follow on these challenges? And how does one learn each register octave on their harmonica? Instrument choice is crucial to your success as a beginner. It may very well determine if you stick with and or succeed with the instrument. Now, I just want to interject. 28-year music educator in the school system. You play more music than I have fingers and toes, or more instruments. You got like 50 of them around here. You can see some in the background. This is nothing compared to what's here. Okay, so you spent your whole life in music. Why did you want to play chromatic harmonica? The instrument speaks to me, and it resonates in my soul, and it's always an instrument I've wanted to have the chance to play. And when that opportunity came, I could not turn away from it. You say that harmonica choice, the instrument you're going to play, makes a difference. Explain that. The player has to have a quality instrument to make progress. Well, you're right about that. Please keep reading. Music has no time limit. Music has no age limit. Music is lifelong, so participate. Since music is lifelong, it's never too late to start. So you never know where you will end up. On stage, contributing to a book, on the web, or playing the chromatic harmonica for your personal enjoyment. Who knows? Only you do. And it's so fun because I saw you on stage the first time playing jazz improv. And you've done so many weird things that I never, you never thought you would do. And now you're going down to do a major folk festival in the South. I mean, great journey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In this part, we talk about our personal impressions on this journey, two-year journey, working on this book. Tell me, what are some of your personal impressions from the path? Well, this book started out about 125 pages, and then okay. it just grew. As, it was method only. Okay. Then we went decide to do some interviews. We started out with just a couple. Then we went to four. Mm -hmm. And then we just kept getting more. We closed the book, the interview section, more than once. And we ended up with well over 20. 27. 27. And in the beginning, there were none. And then there were two. So that that's a fun one. I know that as far as personal impressions for me, um, to have a chance to talk with so many world-class players of chromatic harmonica. And I kind of expected that their methodology to learn the instrument would be the same, but it wasn't. 
I had people like Robert Bonfilio, who's a master talent at classical playing, who has a 10-year study program of scales and interval work. 10 years program that he has students doing. Okay, and then other people like Jens Bunge that are this master improvisational artist. I just love his music. Never did any scales. Never did any scales. And so what I kind of learned through this process is there are many different approaches to the instrument from the ancient oral approach, like Ray Navarrete, just the sound that Tolek Olestead actually approved his chapter in the book because yeah. we wanted him to look at it. And then we have people like Robert Bonfilio and then King's Harmonica Quintet, which, gosh, they could be playing orchestral instruments, basically. They're so talented and so capable. So for me, it was just the multiplicity of paths, and that translates into freedom to you and us to learn the way that we want. So once again, I'm David Kettlewell. And Frederica Cohen. Co-authors of the new book. Love of Chromatic Harmonica, Techniques and Advice from the World's Best. Love of Chromatic Harmonica. Not like. <laughs> Love of Chromatic Harmonica, Techniques and Advice from the World's Best. They share everything they got with you. We shared what we had to give to. We hope you love the book.